His name is Rob Cordry. You have seen him before oh, all oh, the time. Oh, oh, the oh. Daily Show, Hot Tub Time Machine, Children's Hospital, Emmys, all and of school. course, <laughs> at the Emmy Awards. Emmys, but also Ballers 2 starting this upcoming yeah. Sunday. I love season one. Is it one. Ballers 2? Ballers season Since 2. Thank you. Season okay, two. I just Sorry. To make but I like that, yeah. though. Ballers, Ballers 2. 2. That's what we are. Yeah. Ballers also. Yeah. Uh, welcome back to New York. Thank you. Uh, I hear that you, I went on your Wikipedia page. Oh, good. <laughs> and, uh, cause that's how we do big time research. It's all accurate. And it said, it said you had two odd jobs that you were a security guard at the Met and that's you right. hung out, you handed out Mexican restaurant menus. Right down the street from here. Stop really? it, where? Mini Dito. It was at Mini Dito's, I think it's still around. It's uh, on 7th Avenue or something. Man. And the guy like, I would, I would take the flyers and I would throw them away and go sleep in Central Park. Right. So, because that's the, safe. <laughs> yeah, right. Because the and then the boss just started noticing he wasn't getting any business from these flyers, this aggressive flyer up. business model. Right. And so he said, "Here's his solution." He goes, "When you take it, take the top, smack it, and then pass it out and say, good Mexican food." <laughs> and wow, you're easily coached. Yeah. So this lasted like. <laughs> 10 minutes and then I took a nap up in Central Park. Uh, this is episode 71. We always name a famous 71. So if you have one, That's please a tough say number it. To throw it is a on tough number. I'm sorry. I'll go with Tyron Smith, left tackle of the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to say Jason Peters, Trent Williams, and Evgeny Malkin. Oh, I looked at a yeah. little hockey on yeah, the podcast. Malkin, I like that. But I'm going to say. Uh, I was born in 1971. Is that hey, good? That does. 70 that counts, man. Thank yes. you. Um, Special year. So we need to get this out of the way now. Sims has been someone that's gone on Boston radio a lot. He uh -oh. has talked a lot about the Tom Brady deflate gate scandal. Oh, I have no way back up. I've not heard of this. I, I, of this. <laughs> I hear from my good friend Matt Camp, who mm -hmm. works yeah. here at Bleach Report, that I know you talk to. He good goes, man. he goes, hey, Cordry, big time Pats fan. Yeah. Where are I you? I really in like the, the Pats too, though. Let's yeah, just establish that. Yeah, they're a fan. We love the Pats. for the Patriots. So okay, okay. All right. I love the Patriots. So I just want a safe to, place. Yeah, where are you right now? Except for the flight gate, it's not. Yeah, where yeah. are you now in your process of handling it? Um, can I curse? Yes, yes we have great one curse. Thank you. Um, because I'm at the point where I don't give a shit. Right. Mm. <laughs> I hear Welcome. that. Basically, <laughs> right. I've I've rooted for the Red Sox all my life, yeah. and they weren't a winning team until. At least in my pers with my perspective yeah. recently, yes. right. So I'm always rooting for the underdogs. I love mm. and hating the Yankees. I love being able to root for the bad guys now. Like I am a uh, an an unapologetic Patriots fan. Patriots fan. It's like so, you become a Yankees fan. It's just football. It's like exactly <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. It's right. like because like I'm a Yankees. huge Yankees fan. I grew up here. So, yeah. you know, I have respect for the Red Sox, but yeah, New York Yankee fans are no, like the not, evil empire yeah, exactly. to hell with all you. Exactly. Right. And that's how New England is. You're right, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah but so I, I don't uh, care. I, I'm so Maybe, maybe they the cheated. Who gives a shit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're still going to beat you. Exactly. And still would have beat you regardless. We're going to beat the, your with team. The properly. But I, I agree with all that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that well, we I think know. Belichick is the greatest coach of all time. He's a maniac, right? I mean, I, I love uh, it. Yeah, of course he is. Yes. Of course he is. But um, he's a he's a, a psychopath. I don't think you'd want to like uh, have him over for dinner. Yeah, he'd be Bullshit. better than you think, though. You could <laughs> really? make him laugh. You could. He would. He's a little uh, more social than people give him credit for. I think I'd be trying too hard, and I'd blow it. Yeah, you probably what could. Would, probably what like, I gotta what get would away dinner crazy be guy. like if Belichick were to come in? <laughs> what would you even? What would, what would be your Belichick? first question what with would the Belichick? Uh, this is delicious. I'd say first compliment the food. This is delicious. <laughs> right. He Fried won't be chicken. cooking it, so don't worry. Um, uh, and then I'd say, um, mm. Mm. love the house. I love. I don't know. I, I blow it. Yeah. See, I'm already blown. Oh, yeah. like, I'm, I'm already like, blowing it. Belichick food for Belichick. He'd be like, oh, I don't like this. Like, oh, I hate it. I throw it against the wall. I'd be like, so you want to order pizza? Yeah. Like, what you <laughs> Whatever you want, Bill. It's the right call. He would never f even like change his mode of what he's in. You can't fluster Bill. Really? Like if you were like throwing food around and be like, this sucks, Bill would just sit there and observe and be, yeah, like, be like, we're on to Cleveland. Yes, we're on to we're the on next to center. Cleveland. We're just on to like The, the Rock, right? <laughs> nice. Nice segue. No, okay. So you, you just came from the New York Times uh, and you were saying... No big deal. Everybody wants to know about The Rock. Is it become like a big part of your life, people asking you about The Rock? Uh, yeah. Yeah, all the time. And di varying degrees of, of, uh, of embarrassment mm. when they do. Some people are like, 
okay, first question, gotta ask you this. What's The Rock like? And then there are people that are like, ugh. I bet you everybody's asking about what The Rock's like, right? Right. But they still want to know. Go, but then they're like, so what's he like? So, yeah. yeah. So he's cool? <laughs> well, it's like, well, the thing that's so funny is talk about a person that puts out their their like personal life on all forms of social media. You pretty much know what he's like because he's showing you that's at every the moment. Thing, right? That's what I don't get. That's why people, I think that's why people ask because they're looking for a, a seam. You yes. know, they're looking for the sure. for the catch. They want and you to say he's truly an asshole. There's no that's catch, really what you man. Say. They yeah. Want, yeah, that's exactly. That's they, what want, they want like it's all an act. Yeah. He's putting it on. And he's appealing but to all genres. I you mean, were like, saying earlier he's the new Arnold. He's the is, new Arnold. My kids Arnold love from him. Happy Days. Well, no, no, not Arnold from Happy Days. See, you're don't date yourself Arnold? like that. This is a young Bleacher Report crew. Happy Days. Oh, come oh, on. Oh. 1971 birthday. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Don't do that to yourself. Can we talk about Happy Days at some point? <laughs> Arnold who? Schwarzenegger. I was saying he was like the new action. Is. Oh, you know. I know who that is. Right. Right. He's a guy. He's a politician. Uh, yeah. But my kids love him. And the uh, what's the movie? Nice surplus what's the movie? Where he's on the weird island, and there's all these huge creatures. The rock. I don't know, but doing this is yeah. really going to help huge us out. Huge right? bugs. They're like this. I'm blanking on the name. With a, Come with on, you two. Make it, no, it's I'm The Rock. The movie he's in. They made two of them. His name's Dwayne. I know. I call him The Rock. Actually, I know, his name I is get, but I'll, It'll come to me, whatever. They're uh, good movies, though. My kids yeah. love them. The big bugs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mysterious huh. Island or Mystery Island? Either way, Mysterious who cares? Island who would, cares? It's who a cares? terrible name for a movie. I don't think it's that. <laughs> I, so I just got back from a bachelor party this past weekend in Austin, and I don't know how I'm functioning. How you do it? My body is sore. I'm doing yeah. okay. Little All knocker right. ball, little boat action. How old are you? I am 30. Just okay, 30. so you're still so at the I'm point still where able to recover. you can recover from a... I was saying this. I said, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm interviewing Rob Corddry on Monday. And they're like, oh, man, we would love to get messed up with Rob Corddry. <laughs> and that's the other thing I thought of is if you if you went to Vegas, I can't imagine the amount of people going, dude, you got to get Let's messed up. Yeah, like, do you get that yes, all, the time? all the time? Which is a great place to be. But yeah, it can be I'll, annoying. I'll take photos of people. It's high, like Unless I'm with my kids, it's the only time I don't do it. Or, or sign autographs. Yeah. But when people say like, hey man, let's do shots, do this shot. I'm like, no, yeah. I'm not doing it. Right. I'm not doing it. Right. I will drink a, a smart glass of white wine with you. <laughs> yeah. Something without any sulfites. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's going to hit me tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, because that's, you know, <laughs> well, I, I also don't think people realize the creepiness of being handed alcohol that you didn't see get Especially poured. Especially this day and age. Oh, that's funny. You know yeah. what? Like, yeah, I don't even... I guess I, I just. You wake up there, trying man. to date Ray I'm him. Are you kidding me? You think somebody's trying to hey, date man. Ray? Hey, man! Come on, get out of here. People want to date Ray me. Get out of here. Yes, they do. Gosh, Red oh, Sox fan from New. Gosh, who knows? No one wants to. What's do that. not? <laughs> What's not to want a drug? I, I do want to know what it's like to film that show, though. Just as yeah, I really the, enjoy a lot it. of personalities. Of course, Dwayne Johnson. Even the athletes that you have on interacting. What, yeah. I mean, they're good, right? Yeah, they really yeah. are. It's been it's been a lot of cool moments. It's like entourage for the NFL, any, which is pretty good. Any moment yeah. that sticks. I mean, I've seen some of the highlights, you know, for the commercials on HBO and stuff of that, like him yeah. wrestling Terrell Suggs. And yeah, yeah. Were there any <laughs> other cool moments you thought in filming that's kind of stuck out to you during, um, during it, the process? The whole thing is like. The whole thing is pretty fun. I, I got to make my, like, uh, boiler room, Glen Gary, Glen Ross speech. Mm. You know, coffee is for closers, yes. that, right. that one. Right. Like, that is um, one of the best scenes in any movie it's, ever. It's probably the best scene, I'd say. So, the fact that it's Ali Baldwin's only scene in that movie, too, <laughs> I know, right? it so He's not in better. the play. Yeah. You know, uh, he, uh, so I got, I had, you know, it's that moment, it's that trope where, Get out there and you say, uh, hey, everybody listen up, and nobody listens up, mm. and you have to be an asshole to get their attention. Right. And then prove that you're in charge. It's just the best. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best. Um, we, we like to talk about when you see NFL players are funny, the big ones are absurdly big. The quick ones, the corners and wide receivers, yep. I'm always taken aback at how small they yeah. are. We had uh, Byron Jones in here last year, and he left, we're like, I don't think he's going to make it in the league. And he had like an amazing year. I know Suggs has been on the show, JPP, Antonio yep. Brown. Who caught your attention about how big or how small they are? They're funny, yeah, Victor right? Cruz is very normal very size. Right. Right. Wide receiver, go, very right. normal right. sized. Right. Suggs is Friend huge. Friend of the podcast. Yes. Suggs, is just <laughs> a Suggs has got a booty that is unbelievable. And I mean, a personality to match that no that doubt booty. about it. I know he does. He's a, <laughs> right. uh, got a large personality. <laughs> yes.
<laughs> yeah, uh, I know that's, uh, do you, I don't know, I'm sure you've gotten to be around a lot of athletes in your day as it is, but. Not really. No, 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 you, no this is my. This, this is your first experience yeah. of it? We're yeah. no athletes on Children's Hospital. <laughs> yeah, we don't get a lot no, of athletes that weird? at UCB. That was, uh, Isn't that weird? <laughs> Anything stick out to you about the athletes since we talk about sports that, you know, are they more, are they loud, big, bigger mouths than you thought? Are they a little more humble? Depends. Depends on the Depends guy. Depends on the guy. Right. Suggs is. Uh, Let you know he's in the uh, room. Yeah, he's in, yeah, and he's. <laughs> Good, like he improvises. Mm. He's always he's so comfortable. This is the way I. They're always very good. That's what surprised me the most. Right. All of them across the board. They're very good. Right. And I think what it is is their job is so hard mm. and so dangerous that when they get in front of the camera, they're like they're not intimidated. No, by they're it. not scared. Yeah, they're not exactly. afraid. Right. So they're like they're loose and they're believe they're always believable. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. Great. That's cool to hear. I think the thing that I've really been enjoying about the show is there's no holds barred. You having like the party on the yacht and just getting absolutely yeah. destroyed and like you got the drugs and all that stuff. Yeah. It's it's a solid HBO show. Mm -hmm. And I think we're at an interesting time where HBO is far and away the number one place I would want like if I was an actor or to work. I feel like those shows, if it lasts for a long time. He's such a company guy. We're a Time Warner family here. So, you know, yeah, HBO but let's part be real. Like, <laughs> but like, uh, company I, I think we could all say that, no, that I agree. H totally HBO agree. right now, it's, right. it's the... I mean, to get that, yeah. and you think about where you started, is that a, has that been a cool path for you to like yes. look back at all? Yeah, HBO is like getting on an HBO show is is an honor in itself, right? Because it does it is a, a vaunted yeah place. I mean, like Tony look, Soprano. Yeah, like, and look at like, and they don't let up either. Like Game of Thrones ended two weeks ago. Yes, and this yeah. their new show started last night. Yep. Ballers is starting next week. Right. They, they always have something great. On John Sunday Oliver nights. show yeah. has always been good. Yeah. Whenever that people on. always go and watch, like they yes, watch it definitely. when it's on, which is crazy for television. Right. All right. Know? So I know you probably learned a lot doing your time in UCB. Nothing. I can imagine that you learned an immense amount doing the Daily Show. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of like, I mean, those are really strong comedy places to learn. Yeah. What did, What did you learn about comedy? I'm going to get real deep in the weeds go here. Ahead. What did you learn though about being funny but being a good comedian? Like, what did you learn from those two places? Okay. Um, the, the main thing that the UCB teaches that at first I didn't really understand it until I had to put it into practice was like their, their first rule, of course, is yes and. If yes. somebody says something to you, agree with it and add to it. Right. The second rule, at least as I heard it, was always try and make your scene partner look good. Mm. Don't worry about yourself. Worry about your scene partner. And yeah. if you make your scene partner look good, you will look good by default. You know, so it's kind of like um, I see comedy as the best comedians are the best uh, alley oopers. Interesting. Like they just toss up the ball for right. someone to right. get the glory. You sure, know, that's okay. um, and I like that's a that would that's be like a, a Bill sports, Belichick it's a sports model. analogy almost. Yeah, when you I, said, I, 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 I really a quarterback. Right? I, w I went the long. How can I make the receivers the better? Run. How can you? I mean, <laughs> yeah. the, then what about Daily I got show? more sports analogies too. <laughs> You're deep. Yeah, I got I a lot of them. What about the Daily Show? What did you learn from the Daily Show? I learned I. It's where I started learning how to write, I think. Uh, watching Jon Stewart, like, just take a, a news story in the morning and then slowly and craft jokes over it over the course of a day for right. a presentation yeah. that night, like, hours later. And how that joke would change and watching him, like, watching him change it and, and, and trying to get into his head, trying to think, like, um, you start writing and you start thinking, how what's John going to change about this? Mm. Right. And you know, you start to get an idea. But there's guys like John Stewart who it's they're crazy. on a different level. So, right. but I think with that too, that I think is the most intimidating part about comedy or anything is trusting that you're going to create. It's going to be judged, but you're going to be okay putting it out there and doing it in one day like that. Yeah. That is wild. It's wild, man. It's live to tape, too. So, meaning, like, we do the whole thing. Right. It's taped, you know, four hours before it airs, but we do the whole thing in one shot. Like, very rarely do we go back and fix it. Like something. the Sims and Left Go podcast. That's what we do, too. We're live to <laughs> I tape. I wonder. John Stewart, Sims and Left Go oh, podcast. You know what? <laughs> it's exactly the same thing, <laughs> now that I think of it. My writing skills are right. All right, all right, well, just before you get too deep. The, the I'm another, done dip. All right, I just want to go. That's good, though. Just like, just, I always am curious hitting. with actors, really and, and you always seem like you're having fun, really, whenever I see you on the camera. But, like, 
When you have party scenes in a movie, do you guys actually ever like drink or party like in any of your old movies or the show Ballers, any of that? Do you guys do that's that a, a little? That's a great question. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it depends. Do, right. Now, if I'm on a show where we have we're self-driving, right. like we have to drive ourselves to and from, they're very very strict about it. Okay. But if we're I was up in shooting a hot tub one, the first one. Right. We were up in Canada. And up there, it's even more lax, and the, it's all up to the prop t props department. Okay. And they were like, "Do you guys want real beer or fake beer for this one?" Yeah. And we're like, <laughs> "Yeah." What do you Tough think? Tough call here. So we would, during some of those days, just get hammered oh, shooting the scene. And how does the work go when you do it? Fine. Does it get better, or does who, it who, take? Who knows? Like, yeah. I, th I say fine because <laughs> right. I had fun. Um, you're, you know, you're, uh, you're not as, uh, uh, you know, you're looser. Right. But, but. Yeah, there was probably guys on set that didn't like it. Right, so oh, or getting a line or whoever it might yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're just making up lines by that point. Yes, like, right. right. So there's some yeah. people that <laughs> need things to get them to an altered state, and then there's someone like Jay Glazer who I feel like doesn't need anything. What was your take just on his energy as a person? Because I find him to be a bowling ball of just, just. I was going to say unavoidable rage, but it's not angry. It's, not it's, rage. Just, it's just like an explosion. It's just energy, energy, energy. talking crap, intensity. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, that guy loves his job, man. Yeah, and he does. He is so. He, he's he's, yeah. He, he and he'll talk to, talk about anything. With yeah, you. he will. And 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 really and engage. Give you all right. the details. But then he'll go like halfway through a sentence, he'll go. Yeah, so anyway, so the right. gym is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Hold him. on, hold on, right. hold on. Like, he's breaking news, you know? Oh, right. man. Yeah, he's, you, he's a funny dude. So yes. have you always... When did a Patriots fan... When did you start becoming a Patriots fan? Like, from birth? No, I was never... I wasn't a football fan until about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I kind of liked... I mean, and this is holds true to this day. Like, there's a group of teams I like and a group of teams I don't like yeah, for whatever right. reason. Sure. And, um, and of course, the Patriots are always in the group of likes, but yeah, I just gradually likes? just really uh, started falling into it. Like, because, so I'm, I'm more of a football fan than anything, yeah. but, uh, but I, love, I love Boston. I love Boston sports. I agree. It's amazing. And um, I love the energy there, you yeah. know? I lived in Boston for a while, and I loved that. It. It's amazing, right? I mean, it it, the sports as a sports town, it's just uh, there's nothing like it's it. It's the only place you can go to the dog park, and the women are talking about a sports as much as the men. I'd be like, <laughs> the women would be like, "Man, we got to trade Rondo," yeah, and I'd be yeah, like, yeah. "What? Is this? Am I really having this conversation with like a four-year-old woman?" Dude, you see Big Poppy last like, oh, yeah, Rondo can't. He can't shoot it. Get him out of here. Oh my Ship god. Ship him off to the Havid yeah. Yad. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to make fun of me and my horribleness there. No, that was that was good. I like that whenever someone's trying to do a Boston accent, they say Havid Yad because yeah. it, it forces you to try and yeah, do it. Does, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. There's, there's a lot of R's. Right. Pack the That's cat honest. and have it, yeah. The, the so hard thing is to get the, fit the R's in because they'll take R's out of certain words and put them like on uh, other ones like, uh, hey, uh, like so drawer? what do you want to? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go and uh, get some pizza with Linda. Pizza, pizza. Yeah. with Linda. Pizza <laughs> with Linda. You sound like Bill Burr. That's right? having the yeah. You get that Jersey a little too. Like yeah. I used to have that accent. Did like, you really? I, I had to lose it. How did you lose it? Arthur Carter is a farmer who sells purple earthworms at the airport. Wow, that was a Man. good one. Think about it, Boston. Yeah. Think about the it. Artichoke. Actually, don't. Don't. The artichoke. Don't. Stay beautiful. beautiful. You're good. Exactly. Stay <laughs> the arsonist has oddly shaped feet. Have you lifted feet. weights with, like, the... Uh, yeah, I lift weights with everybody. Uh, Who? Well, the Rock or anybody no. in that group? No. Not him. Who no. else? Uh, <laughs> Name somebody else. Uh, I probably lifted weights with him. Yeah, you probably did? Yeah. What about Adam Lefko? No. No, right. He doesn't lift Name some... Uh, <laughs> how much do you think I can bench? Uh, not a lot. Um, You're probably right. Yes. I haven't tried in a long right. time. Right. I'm going to say, you know, you can probably get 155, maybe Is that one, good? 185. It's all right. For a guy that hasn't done it in a long time, it's pretty good. I'd be proud of you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a try. What see, else is going on in your life, man? I don't know. What do you got? Let's do it. No, I mean, you going? You filming anything else? Um, right now, I just, I guess, just finished shooting a movie right. uh, in Atlanta called Office Christmas Party. It comes out around Christmas. Right. And, um, and then when that wrapped, I just... I just decided to like free time. Yeah, I mean, if I get asked to do something, I'll con you know consider it. I'm not I'm not being that protective of right. it, but I'm just like I, I I go home and I or I wake up and I get my kids off to camp, and then I uh, 
I uh, take a nap maybe, read the paper. This is amazing. When do you start, when do they come back to you and go, okay, let's start thinking about ballers <laughs> let's again? Get, let's, my wife will be the first one. She'll be like, should I, <laughs> so when are we going to go. um, when when are we get back to work? <laughs> I want to get a pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get you out of the house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that will happen. What, is that after the season always? Just because you've got to wait for the football players to be available to film the show a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. We it, start in um, October-ish. Uh, okay, yeah. October-ish. Okay. In interesting thing when you're doing characters, I imagine some people only know you for those characters. We were talking about the old old school before and how awesome that was. Pedophile on Kirby Everybody knows me my character from old school. <laughs> well, that yeah. The guy behind Luke Wilson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the guy like this. I wrote an uh, article. I uh, not an article. Or your character. I who is? I'm gonna blank. I'm choking under the pressure. His char Your character with, you know, you're on your your wife. She's checking her dress out, and you're like, oh, what? Oh, that oh, was, was in that, uh, what, what uh, was the Farrelly uh, Brothers movie. Um, what the heck was that? I know. I'm blanking. On oh, that. Heartbreak Kid. Heartbreak Kid. Heartbreak Kid. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That was. I always like those scenes as well. When she uh, comes out and shows her stuff, and you go, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wanted to. I had this like awful hair pattern right then. I had this uh, um, a tuft. Uh, Is that what it's called? I call it a tuft. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Wikipedia, I'm not sure what it's technically what called. What is hair? Hair Island. In, <laughs> um, that is a bad name for a I movie. And I wanted to That's shave it off. I was like, Island. I got to get rid of this. And then for that, they were like, no, keep it. Keep it. We've written bits for it. I was like, right, you've written jokes because you think it looks so stupid. Right, you make, right. Okay, fine. Yes. Yeah. Now All that right. I see, I'm just going to call it Hair Island. Yeah, which Hair was Island. Which is an awful place to get stranded. Um, <laughs> do you ever get called by your character names in public? Um, or do you get yeah, a lot of... Yeah. So, oh, I get a lot of that. Yeah. But uh, if anything, it's usually um, Lou. It's easy to say. Lou, but it sounds like boo sometimes if it's a lot of people are saying it. So, just saying so like, they'll be in the airport and they say, these five dudes booing me? Right. Um, and, uh, but no, no, usually it's like, uh, um, hey, I'm uh, uh, Phil such and such. Uh, did, didn't, did, did we go to high school together? And I'm like, no, 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 dude, I don't know. I was born in 2001. I don't know, we probably, I just have a familiar And they just face. can't place it. Yeah, right. you know, because I'm that right. guy, sort of. I have a very comfortable level of well, celebrity. Well, I think that's, <laughs> that's I, I, hear I you. think, well, what I think the, the concept of anonymity, people take it for granted, because then once you start doing stuff like this, yeah. walking through the airport is no fun, not fun anymore. It doesn't matter. I mean, if I'm, it depends on your mood, though, right? I mean, Yo, like, if Jay I'm with Glazer. my kids, yeah. I don't Checking. engage. I don't, you know, really. Yeah. I just don't want them to, like, because kids will, they'll inflate it or possibly, I just don't want them to, even think about it. My kid is actually in that, I have a 10 year old and a five year old. My little boy is in the process right now of, he likes to tell everybody who his grandfather is and who I am. Not that I'm a big deal, <laughs> yeah. but my father is Phil Sims. Yeah. Do you know my dear granddad oh, is Phil Sims? Have you ever heard of him? And he'll just drop that? <laughs> just drop so it. So you're like seeing him on the, well, on the playground with a girl and he's like, so no, you he know my grandfather. No, he does it grown-ups. That's what he does. He does it to grown-ups, which is even worse. But he's seen, That's so funny. he's seen some people as of late come up to my dad in public and he started to put all this together now. So he thinks it's interesting. But it's so embarrassing. Yeah. What my what my girls know, my girls think basically they just know because they see billboards from Children's Hospital up, and they'll be mm. like, "There's the clown again." They'll call it the clown, but not me. <laughs> and then they'll, but I think they think I only do raunchy stuff, which is for the most part true. Right. Um, <laughs> not by design, no. but uh, it's uh, but and they so they are like they don't like raunchy comedy. They they're like very mm. they're like oh my. My dad tells dirty jokes so for a living. Dirty. I think like, do you know my dad? So they don't he's... brag about me. Like I went to high school with you. <laughs> uh, that, man, I, I, that's why I love this role though for you because I was watching Ballers in the beginning. I remember people like, what do you think of Ballers? And I was like, you know, I think it's pretty good. I was like, obviously, I think like The Rock, Dwayne is is this is like something he's made for. Yeah. I was like, but Cordry has always been someone that I've loved from The Daily Show because he's always had this hard punchline where it like kind of hits you in the face. And I love your character because it's it's what all of us would want to do, it, Joe is, if we really didn't give a shit. Yeah, and we're close. just kind of like, let's just go hang out with The Rock and like get really messed up and get some new clients. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's, no, that's it's exactly a great, right. It's like, a really cool role. I based it off a friend of mine um, who's that guy? I think everybody's got this guy in their in their group of friends, like who can go all weekend, doesn't get hungover, yeah, right, doesn't feel 
guilt. I was with doesn't a friend under, this weekend. And, uh, maybe a little socially weird. Right. Yeah. You know, doesn't under says the wrong thing at the wrong right time. Or wrong yeah. right. to a certain degree, but but right. he'll also like he's there's so much fun to be around. Yeah. I had a weekend like that myself this weekend. I'm a little hurting today. I think we're all hurting. I'm hurting. Uh, clean what, living. Where here. are you going now from here? You went to New York. You're going to get wasted. You're going to good for you. <laughs> no, I uh, I uh, where am I going? Where am I? I'm going to do a radio show. You going to do a radio show? Yeah. All right. It's all downhill from here. A lot easier here. than this. Yeah. I this know. is high pressure. pressure. I think you Sorry. may have set the record for most fist bumps with Sims of a guest. I was just thinking that. That's like five, five fist bumps. Five? He could have been hey, like, man. I love orange juice. You'd hey. be like, OJ, I love actually it. want to put him in a headlock because he's a Red Sox fan, and I want to give him a Come noogie on, on Hair Island. Come on, five <laughs> fist bumps with that. Six. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was awesome. Uh, Rob Corddry, Ballers Season 2, starting this Sunday. Of course, check that out. If you want to go, I don't know, get a Blu-ray of Old School, check out uh, Children's Hospital on yeah. Adult Swim. Um, and then uh, his personal phone number, we're going to put on the bottom of the screen. Right. Hit him up. He yeah. would love to hear from you. So, uh, mm -hmm. Russ. Yeah, still classic name, 917 <laughs> Oh, it's a New York That's number. It. Yeah. Oh, how you're cheating on Massachusetts. Oh, come on. Cheating. I lived in New York for 15 years. Okay. All right, I, I have one go. last question. I know you have to go. Do you go, so I had a bachelor party where I saw guys I've known since I was two. Yeah. And a lot of times when I hang out with them, they'll be like, yo, so like, what's this guy like? What's that guy like? Uh -huh. When you, do you ever get around your old guys? And what are those conversations like? Because I'm sure they just pepper you. It no, nah, they're pretty like, they're uh, there, I'm more interested in in their lives because they all have really interesting. Like one of our friends is a, a state trooper in Massachusetts, what? and he's got way better stories than I do. Like I he's an undercover narcotics wow. trooper, and so like we don't need they don't need stories about right. That's so funny. You know celebs. <laughs> they we they see have, crazy. We stuff. got him knocking down doors. Oh like that's my gosh, way more fun. Unreal. All right, he's gonna go play some Pokemon Go. It's really hot right now. It's dangerous. It's but being told. I'm really into it. Yeah, just don't go under like the highway and start looking for Charizards <laughs> or some shit. Stupid crap. I know. I just heard about this today. I did too. Me yeah. Too. Yeah. You're it's, not a big fan? Of course not. I mean, we are not a big Pokemon fan. I'm not a big. I'm sick of. I'm sick of huh? walking around New York City with the people like this. I'm. But when I'm like, sat down here, oh right, wait, there's a car coming. Oh, I'm in the middle of everybody. He struck me as a big like Japanese anime fan in general, <laughs> and maybe especially Pokemon. Yeah. No. But sorry. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it was weird. I can't read people. Uh, <laughs> See ya. Seven. Right. Seven. Always a pleasure. Be yeah. good. Thanks Thank for hanging out with us. You're allowed to just walk off. You don't even worry. Hold on. Let me get my mic.